Hello, this is Mandy Lockley for the Academy of Astrology UK. Today I'm going to be talking about Uranus. Now Uranus moves from fiery, fearless Aries to steadfast, security conscious Earth sign Taurus in May 2018 and it'll stay in Taurus until 2026. Now Uranus is the planet of shock, change, particularly unexpected change, breakdowns, breakthroughs, revolutions and rebellions. It's also what revolts us and what we reject. It rules electricity and eccentricity. Uranus upsets the status quo and doesn't respect authority. Rather, it prefers to be its own authority, to be independent. So what are the themes of Uranus in Taurus? Well, with Taurus, we like to find and stay in our comfort zone, but it's Uranus's role to pull us out of our comfort zone. So what comfort zones will be shaken up under Uranus in Taurus? In mundane astrology, world astrology, Taurus rules material possessions, money, banking, our collective and also individual financial security. Taurus craves comfort and security and as a human race we have grown attached to our comforts and are not prepared to give them up easily. But perhaps we will collectively learn under Uranus in Taurus that the financial security we have is not based on anything quite as real or tangible as we thought it was. So we could predict a financial shake-up. Worst case scenario, perhaps another banking crisis and crash. That's worst case scenario. Financial revolution, at least somewhere in the world, is another possibility. A shake-up of the financial status quo certainly will be called for. Perhaps a rejection of the way we've done things, things that haven't been working. Perhaps a currency crisis. Taurus is a Uranus sign under which the UK exits the European Union and already the pound sterling is suffering. Will it rally after Brexit? We'll have to wait and see. Taurus is about stability, long-term stability. So it's likely there will be some hair raising up and down, ups and downs financially along the way before things stabilise. For example, wild fluctuations in the world's stock markets and in currency are almost inevitable under Uranus and Taurus. Perhaps new forms of currency, such as Bitcoin or something similar, will take off or even collapse. Perhaps we will see the rise of credit unions. Now, credit unions are non-profit making money cooperatives whose members can borrow from pool deposits at low interest rates. That might be seen as a, a better or fairer way to do things under Uranus and Taurus more independent monetary system coming in. Perhaps we will be asking, is our money safe and secure in the bank? Taurus, as I said, loves security. Can't say that often enough about Taurus. But to Uranus, security is not a consideration. Again, you can't say that enough about Uranus. Certainly, there will be a strong collective urge for financial freedom. A call perhaps for the wiping out of debt or for more affordable housing and for the redistribution of wealth, perhaps. Is it idealistic to hope that the ever-widening gap between the outrageously rich and the rest of us will start to narrow again? And don't be surprised if at least some corporations stop accepting cash as digital currency continues to move towards taking over from tangible money. Maybe cash will finally die when Eurus moves from Taurus into Gemini in 2026. Gemini rules the hands and cash could go from being paper you can hold in your hand to digital money inside a microchip in your hand. Taurus is an earth sign, it's about the body. So I think we are set to see the rise of body technology, such as microchip implants for making payments or accepting or accessing your workplace, or for storing health information in case of emergency. This is already happening in some places in some corporations. Other body technologies in the pipeline include smart contact lenses which can record videos or even more usefully can let diabetics know when their blood sugar is low. All these technologies are already possible. Or how about new organs created by 3D printing? The Economist magazine recently predicted that the first implantable livers and kidneys could be 3D printed as early as 2023 while Uranus is still in Taurus. Exciting or scary? up to you. Before you get scared by what might be to come, remember two things. With Uranus, all you can really expect is the unexpected. 
Also, while Uranus's themes can seem cold, harsh and cutting, it's also concerned with the bigger picture betterment of humanity. Consider that Uranus is associated with Prometheus, who stole fire from the gods and gave it to man. And consider that fire is both highly dangerous and destructive, but is also an essential creative energy. Uranus is associated with inventiveness, progress and development, science and technology, and just think of all the progress and technology that wouldn't have been possible without fire, transport, heating, manufacturing, on and on and on. Taurus also loves nature. So, under Uranus and Taurus, expect new innovations in ecology, in harnessing the power of nature for the good of mankind. This could manifest as new sustainable energy sources, further technological advances in agriculture, the good and the bad, think robots, artificially produced food. Also expect growth in organic, real, whole foods and natural farming methods. Taurus is of course the bull, so look out for changes in the beef and dairy industries. Already there is talk of artificially produced beef. Will it come to market during the Uranus in Taurus? Already we're seeing a decline in the dairy industry, more people opting for dairy alternatives for health and animal welfare reasons. The development of technology that gives better security online might be another theme to look out for. Now already many of these, th these things are already rumbling under the surface trying to emerge. And talking of rumblings, the Taurus being the most earthiest of earth signs, expect to see movements of the earth, tremors, quakes perhaps, and of course with its association with electricity, watch out for wild electric storms and twisters and possibly the damage they cause as well. Now flexibility and adapt adaptability is called for with Uranus in Taurus. Easy to say but perhaps not as so easy in practice. One thing for sure is that Uranus in Taurus will collectively and individually take us out of our comfort zone and that this will feel more challenging to fixed types, those with Sun, Moon and other personal planets such as Mercury, Venus and Mars in the fixed signs of Taurus, Leo, Scorpio and Aquarius. Very brief overview about Uranus in Taurus. I hope that's interesting. I hope maybe that prompts you to do your own research into Uranus in Taurus. Thank you very much for listening. Do check out our website with details of our course. Our foundation course starts in September 2017. Thank you very much.